That's our report. Tessa Williams you. lost her Miss America crown over explicit photos in Penthouse, and Suzette Charles stepped in for a couple of months. It was a year of black superstars. Michael Jackson became the hottest act in the business and took to the road with his brothers in a white glove in a concert odyssey that brought big ticket prices, controversy, and a trip to the White House. If Michael was nearly unreachable, then Prince was untouchable. The androgynous superstar from Minneapolis talked to no one in the press but rose to super status with the movie Purple Rain. A black comedian from Saturday Night Live became a full-fledged superstar. With the release of Beverly Hills Cop, Eddie Murphy became the hottest property in film. 1984 was the summer of Ghostbusters and gold medals. Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray racked up 70 million in ticket sales and had us all singing, Who You Gonna Call, along with Ray Parker Jr. At the Halcyon Days in Los Angeles, Mary Lou Retton proved a perfect 10 and Carl Lewis a perfect four. Peter Uberoff proved the perfect administrator and went on to Major League Baseball. 1984 was the year of the farm in movies. Sally Field and John Malkovich found places in the heart. Jessica Lange and Sam Shepard went up country, and Sissy Spacek and Mel Gibson went down the river. It was a year of anticipation for Francis Ford Coppola's Cotton Club. $47 million in a courtroom battle later, it opened to mixed reviews. 1984 was also the year Donald Duck turned 50. Whoopi Goldberg debuted on Broadway. Julio Iglesias became the new Latin lover. Meanwhile, Joan Collins stayed the sexiest woman on TV. Bruce Springsteen remained the boss. Paul McCartney hyped a bomb called Broad Street. And Jeff Bridges became a star in his own right in Starman. Grace Jones teamed with Arnold Schwarzenegger and led the strong woman look. And Cindy Lauper proved girls could have fun. While Boy George made us wonder which was which. Don Lowe. Shuttery Blade, swing by!